If your company processes payroll in Stage 100 Contractor, you can easily file your W-2 and W-3 forms in the software. In this video, learn how to process employee W-2s and employer W-3 forms using Atrix. Companies that file more than 250 federal W-2 forms are required to file electronically, which can be done through Atrix eFile Center. Most companies perform the payroll close year process before the first pay period in the new calendar year and before it's time to print W-2s for the previous year. During the close year process, employee data transfers to an archive data folder. To print W-2s, use this archive folder. Log into your software, select Show Archives, and choose the Payroll Archive Company. The default archive company desktop color is red, but in 7-1 Company Information, you can specify a color to meet your needs and visually alert you the company archive you are currently using. After you log into the archive and you're ready to begin the W-2 process, open payroll, federal and state tax filing, and federal forms. A message displays when you work in archive company data folders. You have the option to turn off notifications while you work in the archive. This resets when you close and open the company. Click OK to continue. Sage uses Atrix to process 1099s and W-2s. In the Federal Forms window, you see a list of available items. There are two ways to check for updates. Click the Run Report button or select Options Update Forms. The preferred update method is automatic update. Learn more in the Apply Tax Form Updates lesson. After you apply updates, select W-2, W-3. Verify the year in the criteria area. Then click Run Report. Atrix compiles your data into a usable format. The W-2 Setup Wizard opens. You have three options to process W-2s. The first two test drives are trial runs in which the program does not save changes you make. The third is to process final W-2s, where you still have the option to make changes and reprint W-2s before the final print or e-file. Make a selection and click Next. Verify the payer tax ID. This is either EIN or Employer Identification Number, or SSN, Social Security Number, specified in 7-1 Company Information. Click Next to continue. Select Yes if you file W-2s for multiple companies, departments, divisions, or sites that use the same Federal ID number. Another window displays to process with multiple payroll data files. Click the Help button for more information. Select No for a single company. Click Next. On the Company Information window, verify the details are correct. You can make corrections in this window, but the changes do not update the details in 7-1 Company Information. To make permanent changes, open 7-1 Company Information, save your changes, and return to the wizard to continue. Verify the contact information. Add information that is missing or incomplete. Click Next to continue. On the Tax Preparer Type window, select if you file for your employer or if you are a third-party preparer. Click Next to continue. On the State and Local Tax Items screen, add all state and local tax authorities you need to report on W-2s. Click Add for New Items or select a row and click Edit or Remove. State and local taxes persist for future W-2 runs. Double-click in a box to modify information. When you edit, the tax account number is ready for entry. Type the account number. Click OK to continue. When you finish, click Next. The tax IDs must be complete to move to the next step. For data verification, choose a response to each question to continue. You may see additional options when you click Next based on your responses. 
This changes each year for current W-2 concerns. For 2020 and later, note the question about the CARES Act that prevents an error in the tax preparer when you respond no. Read more in the current IRS publications. On the last question, if you have employees who consent to electronic W-2s, ensure you select the Consent for Electronic W-2 box on the Compensation tab in 521 Employees. Also, complete the Electronic W-2 Consent Form for those employees in 541 Federal Tax Forms. Click Next. On the W-3 Information screen, select and enter how specific W-3 form options display for your company. Use the optional control number box to number the entire transmittal. In the Kind of Payer section, choose the payer type that applies to your company. If you are unsure how to respond, click the question mark for more information. Select the kind of employer from the list. Choose from the following. 501c Non-Governmental Tax-Exempt Section 501c State Local Non-501c for companies that are a state or local government or instrumentality State Local 501c for companies that receive a determination letter from the IRS which indicates you are also a tax-exempt organization under Section 501c3 Federal Government Entity or Instrumentality if not one of these, select None Apply. Refer to IRS Publication 557 for more information about 501c3 tax-exempt organizations and view the IRS General Instructions for Forms W-2 and W-3 for more information on how to complete these options. If a third-party sick pay was paid to any employees during the year, Select the box and enter the amount of income tax withheld. Enter an establishment number to identify separate establishments in your business. If you used another employer identification number on Forms 941, 943, 944, or CT1 submitted for the current filing year that is different from the EIN reported on the W-3 Box E, Enter the number in the other EIN used this year box. If the business was terminated during the filing year, select the box. Click Next when you complete the entries. Atrix loads the information into the Tax Preparer window. The bar across the top shows your process and the information you need to enter. In the grid, the boxes with a highlight are active for verification in the current step. In the first step, verify the employee names, social security numbers, and address information. The program verifies the social security number is valid. If there are errors with employee social security numbers, a message displays with guidance to correct the issues. A social security number cannot be left blank, begin with a 9, have an incorrect number of digits, or be a duplicate. Any corrections you make directly in the grid in Atrix do not update your data in Sage 100 Contractor. If you change it in the grid, also update 541 Employees. After you verify the employee information, click Next Step or Next. Verify additional employee information. Review the column with the highlight. Modify any incorrect information. Click Next when you finish. Next, verify the federal information. Atrix populates these amounts from the employee pays for federal-related boxes on the W-2. To view the columns, you may need to click the separator and drag left to see more columns on the right of your screen. The columns begin with Box 1. The amounts are compiled from your Sage 100 contractor pay data mainly 521 employees, on the Calculations tab. If the amounts look accurate, click Next. Next, verify the state information. The grid populates amounts from the payroll check records. After you verify the amounts, click Next. As the program validates the information, 
You may see messages like this one about local wages. Choose the option to go back and correct or continue without correcting. Contact your accountant if you are unsure if the error must be fixed for valid W-2s. The next step is to verify unassigned columns. These columns are not currently visible. Use the scroll bar to move to the active verification columns in the grid. In this step, the highlighted columns show computed amounts for items set up in 531 payroll calculations that Atrix cannot identify with a specific W-2 box from the setup. Some of these columns are amounts you may not need to report on the W-2. If a column should print in a box on the W-2 form, click the drop-down arrow beside Unassigned to select the appropriate W-2 box for this column. For each box in the list, different options display. Choose the box and option for the column. Box 12 has the most options. After you make the selection, click Next. The Preparer Wizard opens to step you through the process to view and print W-2s. Click Next on the informational message. Next, you see the W-2 Printing and Filing Options window. You have two options. Choose to use the e-file service to process your W-2s for you, or choose other options to print the W-2s and send them yourself. For this video, we'll select Other Options, then Print My Employee W-2s, and e-file Federal W-2s and W-3. Note that this option prints the federal copy for your records. Clear the e-file option and choose to print official federal forms. Review the e-file benefits message, then click Next. You have the option to purchase a PDF archive of your W-2s, which provides a way to reprint a W-2 at any time. We'll choose No. Click Next. In the Review Data window, a list displays for all forms ready to e-file or print. The e-file center will not receive anything that is not on this list. In the Print Reports tasks that follow, you complete the reports on this list. In this example, the program will process five reports. Click the Print button to print a copy of the action list for your records. After you confirm all forms in the list are correct, click Next. Atrix compiles report information. The Report Viewer window opens. Let's discuss the basics. You can see the current report, the number of required reports, and pages for a specific report. For each report, you see the options available, including Previous and Next Step. If you choose to e-file a report, you see Print Copy rather than Print Final. After each report, a prompt displays to print. In this video, we won't print all copies. For each form that requires specific paper or a form, a message prompts for action. Read each message carefully to ensure you print on the correct paper or form. In this example, the prompt is to print the employee copies of the W-2. Insert the appropriate W-2 paper before you continue. After you insert the correct paper or form, click OK. Select your printer and click OK to print. Confirm the forms printed successfully, then click Next to continue. Now you see Report 2 of 5, which is the employer W-2. Click Print Final to print the employer W-2s now. A prompt displays to insert specific paper into the printer. After you insert the correct paper, click OK. Confirm the forms printed successfully and click Next Step. Report 3 of 5 is the federal forms. Earlier, we chose to e-file federal forms. This is your copy of the federal W-2s. For this video, we'll click No. Then click Next Step. Report 4 of 5 is the Federal W-3. The 941 designation is based on the type of preparer from the Company Setup Wizard. When you're ready, print the form. We'll select No. 
Report 5 of 5 is the Employee W-2 Notice. Print a single copy and make copies to provide to your employees. Click Next Step to complete the filing. If you choose to e-file your reports, the program connects to the Atrix e-file center. To register for the e-file center, go to the website at efile.atrix.com and click Enroll. Follow the registration instructions. If you already registered for the Atrix e-file center, enter your username and password and click Login. After you log in, follow the prompts to select a date to file your forms. Atrix files the information based on the date you specify in this process. If you selected any services with an associated fee, there will also be a prompt to provide a payment method. After you complete the process to check the status of your filings, log into your account at efile.atrix.com. Next, the program opens the W-2 History File Options window. The last completed actions grid displays the form type and the last completed action date for each form. Below the grid, click View Detailed List of Completed Actions to view all actions taken on the listed forms. Or, click View Instructions on Returning Later to see required steps to take actions later. Under the Available Actions, Three actions are always available to perform from this screen. The first is Reprint Completed W-2s, which allows you to reprint a copy of any completed W-2 filing done in the W-2 wizard. The next is E-File or Print Incomplete W-2. This is how you file additional W-2 copies you have not yet processed. If you printed recipient copies from the W-2 wizard, and now you need to e-file federal and state copies, select this option. When you click Next, the W-2 Printing and Filing Option window opens. Finally, select Correct Completed W-2s to make corrections to W-2 copies already processed. When you click Next, the program returns to the beginning of the W-2 filing process where you can make corrections to the W-2 data. If you want to restart the filing process, choose Start Over. The program returns to the beginning of the process. You may do this if you have new payroll data or if you want to clear the previous history and start over. Select the EW2 password lookup if you need to update an employee email address to send the EW2 password or if you want to look up an electronic password. Make a selection and click Next or click Close to exit. Your W-2 filing is complete. Follow the progress on efile.atrix.com. In this video, you learned how to process W-2 and W-3 forms using the Atrix wizard.